Hello everyone, I am Vijay Kumar Varma. I am presently leading Cyber Security Engineering Vertical at Geo Platforms Limited. I do planning and review of IT infrastructure and cyber security controls at Geo Group of companies that include telecommunications, banking, health and IT services business. My role involves careful planning and placement of various security tools like intrusion detection systems, firewalls, honeypots as well as application components like web servers, reverse proxies, cache servers, database servers and application servers themselves. I am also directing development of security monitoring tools for enhancing detection capability for our on-premise and cloud infrastructure on Amazon Web Services, Azure, Google and Geo's own cloud platform called Geo's Advanced Web Services. I developed passion for dissecting computer systems internals way back in 1990 during my engineering days. At that time, Microsoft Disk Operating Systems were in place, there was no GUIs. But I enjoyed uh, merging C and assembly code to hook into operating system internals using interrupt service routines where I could write terminate and stay resident programs and I developed core uh, system internal skills. And then I joined Indian Army in Corps of Signals and remained there for 22 years maturing my skills in telecommunications, networks and planning and engineering. I also got a couple of tenures where I could lead and uh, practice hands-on software development. I think both these uh, combinations of a solid engineering background combined with managerial skills and a vast experience of handling Indian Army systems at uh, core IT systems. And that has enabled me to transition into corporate world in 2017 where I joined uh, Reliance Geo as uh, head of the security operations center. In uh, my opinion, the certifications provide an excellent way for validation of your skills via third party. And this is very essential when you are uh, planning to switch your domain, let us say from a developer to a cyber security professional or from government to a corporate that was in my case. On a second thought, as a cyber security leader, you must be aware of a deeper and a wider perspective of cyber security concepts which are being advocated by many reputed certification agencies. There are many, uh, but topmost being uh, EC Council. So CISSP is a mile wide and an inch deep certification. That means it prepares a person on a wider cyber security base and it allows to learn a little bit about all cyber security domains and all possible cyber security concepts. That is why it's, it's called a mile wide. Now later on suppose you develop an interest into a particular domain or your job function requires a skills in a particular domain, later on you can learn and dive into that depth that is required by your job function. However, certified CISNO certification program, it has lesser number of domains, but it has more uh, focus on to uh, cyber security use cases and on to business framework. Certified CISNO program helps in transitioning a cyber security executive into a cyber security leader with preparations and simulations of real world cyber security scenarios and it teaches you to convey cyber security risks and various kind of mitigation steps and cyber security investments in a language in which the business understands. So you are able to discharge your functions as a cyber security leader in a much better manner by practicing those kind of cyber security scenarios. In my opinion, and the reading and the training material provided by EC Council is awesome and it is prepared by best of the best and cyber security field. 
I had experienced the same during my other certification from EC Council, uh, Certified Ethical Hacking CEH, CHFI Certified Hacking Forensic Investigator and later in uh, Certified CISO program. The Certified CISO program having lesser number of domains, it uh, focuses uh, more into business frameworks, application frameworks, uh, risks and uh, project management skills are combined together in that. The real world cyber security use cases like pre and uh, post breach scenarios are practiced and uh, case studies are uh, presented. I think with these uh, three strong pillars, your business frameworks, your risk, your management skills and on top uh, combining it with the real world scenarios and case studies is the best uh, takeaway from this certification program. In certified CISO program, you are focused or you are trained on to project management skills as well as combining them with the cyber security aspects. So one of the project which I handled, it ran across 500 plus applications with more than 600 uh, stakeholders. So the project was for API security where uh, establishment of API lifecycle governance as well as sanitizing of existing API calls was to be undertaken. So, whereas each API's request response was scanned and examined to the tune where we had restricted responses only to the authorized users with backend authentication strong mechanisms which are based on not on the what is being sent on the request but based on what session parameters have been established at the backend. So in effect, it resulted into only send what is desired and send only to the authorized person in an API response. The vast expense of this project which spanned multiple applications over multiple API calls in different, uh, different combinations was a key challenge and uh, we handled that gracefully. I undertook certified CISO certification program to learn wider aspects of cyber security leadership by AC Council. The two benefits that I derived from this certification I can tell you now. The first one is learning about cyber security real world scenarios and the case studies which you studied and against which you were tested in exam had helped me in transitioning into a person who can handle cyber crisis situation in a much better manner. The second benefit is that with this certification associated with your name, you literally stand out among your peer cyber security leaders.